Hello and welcome to a continuation of last time's uh, story behind the story on the election. Now, in the last episode, we spoke about uh, the Lok Sabha run-up and probable reasons how who could win, when and why and all that. So, we couldn't uh, reach any sort of a conclusion there. But before we get into the meat and the discussion of it, I would like to bring in a little bit of an analysis on the state, state election which are going into election. Uh, by December because there is a feeling and there is a thing and some of the very senior politicians have already said it and even I am of the opinion that probably Lok Sabha elections could come a little earlier, maybe December or maybe, maybe not. But I would like to introduce them again, uh, Viraj Naik, psychologist, analyst, Viraj Bab, Trajan Dimelo, politician, senior, Mahesh Gaonkar, senior journalist, mm -hmm. Professor Ramrawal Aap, senior politician, an advocate, Siddharth, uh, Siddharth Samar, analyst and advocate, part of civic society. Devil's advocate. Now, <laughs> Viraj Papa, please, uh, please, uh, let's bring in the states first before we, 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 are, we are back into the so I am quite sure, but let's at least give us some analysis of the states. So, before the Lok Sabha election, four assembly elections are uh, scheduled with uh, 83 Lok Sabha seats up for grabs. So, all these four states account for 83 Lok Sabha seats. Which are the four states? So, that is uh, Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh has 29 seats, Rajasthan has 25 seats, Telangana has 17 and Chhattisgarh has 11 seats. So, these four states are going for poll in 2023. MP uh, currently is being ruled by the BJP, Rajasthan is ruled by the Congress, Telangana is ruled by BRS. Uh, that and Chhattisgarh is ruled by yeah, yeah. Congress. Now, interesting thing is, uh, it is not necessary that these results will directly have an impact on the Lok Sabha because we have seen it many a times that these states go to one party and then the Lok Sabha seats in that same state go to another party that has happened in the past. W whether it will happen this time or no is uh, to be seen. Thanks, Yuraj Bab. Now, uh, before I bring you in, Tarajan, uh, before the at the Thank end, uh, Professor, you wanted to add yeah. something to that. Uh, yeah, so actually Viraj now also and previously he gave us some statistics and uh, some interesting insight was based on data was given <laughs> by uh, Advocate Saman which was countered by saying politics does not depend on data. Now, I am a data scientist also as a <laughs> politician, <laughs> so I look at both. Yeah, that is so, right usually thing. means yes, there is some, we know we can come up with lot of insights with data, but finally it is political uh, this uh, yeah. movement which actually changes everything but uh, i was looking although now we are talking about the the uh, state assembly elections which are due currently as on 30th i was taking a look at one of the biggest survey which was conducted by csds lokniti mm -hmm. on 30th may it was published mm -hmm. and the trend means it's the overall trend what it states is Currently, that Modi way which last nine years people are claiming is there, is currently steady. It is not growing. It is slightly declining by 1% from 44, from 43, uh, from 44 it has gone down to 43 at present. Earlier it was 35%. And interestingly, since among opposition currently Rahul Gandhi, whether you like it or not, is considered as one of the strongest opposition leader to Modi or challenger. He was rated as 14 percent preferred by people currently he, he has doubled it is 24 percent it is growing uh, sorry 27 percent 28 yeah so that is one inside lot of dissatisfaction is rising all those uh, data i will not count but the people are not happy with the performance of the government about price rise about farmers issue about even religious unemployment all these things except people think that development has been done, but that also is very illusionary. So, what people are saying is, suppose tomorrow if there was an election, whom you will wait, what? That was a question which was asked in this survey. You can also look at that later. So, currently it is almost say BJP 39 percent, means last election they won based on I think 38 percent votes. 38 percent was the 37. overall 2019. Yeah. 37 38, yeah, almost 37. Currently, BJP is still 39 percent, but interestingly, Congress is also getting 30 percent and others are getting 30 percent. So, if you see and this talk about opposition, unity and all, if it comes to this, so if some party is ruling whole of country with 39 percent vote 
it is possible for us to change and then the margins and all i have <coughs> all that doesn't matter so there are many other interesting things also there but i just wanted to add one more thing is when we talk about is margins how elections are won the research was done and people and actually we know there is no need of that research but people have come out with saying that indian voting system is full as you also know one is bribing the voters that is how elections are won that is the first second <laughs> use of criminal candidates who have a lot of muscle power and money power third paid media i'm sorry <laughs> but i do also no, no, i mean this is from reality research reality 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 yes. no, no. and no, fourth no. compromising Same of autonomy of election commission of india that is also added to the factors which have gone into specially last 10 15 and out of that 9 years bjp is in power and if you see this is all as a politician i have also seen this i have also been part of bjp i have also been part of other party now aam aadmi party and if you see all these things are still on the rise so in this situation what is to be done is a big question okay. how to cleanse this okay that is the question one thing before i bring i come to you rajan i say that this is not going to change cleansing and only forget either you win the election so you lose the election these are the rules if you want to win you got to follow these rules if not another little bit of addition to the thing is that from 2014 to 2019 is when lot of money was put by the ruling party in, into the media after that it's less than half it's reduced <laughs> it drastically but they still got number of seats they have their own up. fake media yeah so whatever <laughs> so they have what how and why i don't know but these are the, the if the opposition needs to beat the bjp like they did in karnataka again same rules all rules applied everywhere but if the opposition gets lessons from this not thinks it has won because of karnataka then possibly it could put up a fight for the bjp like the tmc has done in west bengal it has done it's not it has not done like aap has done in thing in in delhi and in punjab under the same rules the same government same, same money same media nothing has changed so yeah, that's anyway, a general rule that's yes. a general these are the rules you either you win you follow the rules you win or you lose don't you cannot blame anybody sam bab therefore i am very categorical that it is going to change change is in the lips of every of every indian citizen they are fed up with all this nonsense that is going on there is no positive narrative from the government to say that we provided jobs we provided your uh, price rise we brought petrol down nothing see the hate communalization has got a limited scenario and it has reached today people are watching how do you allow manipur to burn and you don't utter a word the uh, home minister goes there internet is down there and is tweeting for whom for which people what jokes are they playing okay i like to add one thing to this manipur issue only you know uh, the bjp while well, this one month or some five weeks or six weeks that the uh, manipur has 45, been literally 45. burning 45 tweets out of that 12 or 13 are about what is happening in manipur and 12 are about uh, the home minister amit shah's visit yeah. imagine out and of they the even claimed that everything was cool and calm after amit shah's visit that is something that uh, <laughs> was uh, very shocking when i got those figures any sorry for today, today the prime minister's visit to the united states is now when you see the reports come in is making biden unpopular <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a, this is an allegation. No, no, sorry, I don't know. Please, the question is the, que the, the reports Washington Post has brought it. Are you for democracy or are you for like a daughter? Yeah, Senators have signed petition. They have given. Then what is this? See, don't forget one thing. When Modi went to states last time, Trump fell. Trump, अगले बार हो गया तो अगले बार. This time it will be opposite Modi का. Be sure because see. They are not official to receive him at the airport. Yeah, what, what fake news has been sent by this, uh, this uh, IT cell? Go on. They are not bothered. What is happening? You see. Okay. You therefore, therefore, what I am trying to tell you is this. I would request 
Dr. Sawant and Viraj Bhav, don't be an even... No, Viraj is part of Goa 365, sorry. Don't bring him in. No, I'm talking about the data. Wait a minute. Your political, political analysis of future, data can be used to support and to work out your strategies. It cannot be the basis... Who would at least Rajan Bhav is admitted? Yes, yes, I'm admitting. But it cannot be the basis to predict the next election. We've done that. Just one I want to talk to Mahesh Bhav. He said, there is no common candidate. He looks to him to be a... Prime Minister. Yeah. Prime Minister. I'm coming to that. He looks to be a BJP bug. That is exactly what they want. We are not in fact. The opposition... See, opposition is very clear. Kohan Banenga Kurorpati, no need of that right now. Every state who is strong, as he has pointed out some states, they will do well against the Prime Minister. The okay, moment you put a common face, then it there is no common face in the environment that is that I am telling you to outbid the Prime Minister. Let us be very clear on this. And therefore, it should Sorry. be state leader versus the Prime Minister. Okay. We are still in Karnataka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically in Karnataka, yeah. it is the, the yes. D.K. Shiv Kumar and Siddhartha who yeah, yeah. yeah. finished these two fellows. Wait, uh, Modi and I, I, want, I want to add on to, I'll bring you back, I'll come to, before that, Mahesh, I'll talk to you, but before that, I want to put in a little bit of, little twist on what you spoke. It just uh, struck me when you were talking. Now, the narration of the past to, I think Ram Rao Bhav and of the past to first, it was development, it was development, national security, X, Y, Z. Now this thing, we had discussed this on the thing when we had said that uh, I don't think that the Prime Minister would be making an impact in Karnataka. We have, we, all of us, I think uh, we were there on this. Besides, I mean, you always say it's going to be tight. I said, no, it's not going to be tight. But the narration of the BJP has changed, I feel. It's going back to Hindu, Hindutva. It is hardening up the way it was during the... Uh, when um, Advani and all had started these uh, yatra, yatras and all zatras and whatever, it's gone into religious tourism, including in Goa, including in Goa. So, yes, you feel, <laughs> yeah, this is what I want to say. This is what is you feel that is this going to uh, bridge the gap in the uh, trust deficit of the BJP? Of the, it's a very political question. That's why I'm putting it to you. First, uh, Mahesh, as a, then I will bring it to the politician. Yes, Mahesh. Yeah, for the post of Prime Minister, Bharat's uh, surveys are learning, all India level survey, and Tatan, mostly majority of the people, they voted for the Modi, mm -hmm. being a good leader. Mm -hmm. As far as opposition is concerned, opposition is a face due to the people. Trojan government mm -hmm. captain Maget mm -hmm. declare karta. Captain of Pilot declared Keller Atta Lok Baraz Usharasa, Taraz Lok Viswas Dorthele. And as far as Sangatan, Sangatan to me consider Karshadni, BJP 17 crores, 17 crores tenche party workers as a grassroots level from Kamit Kamit Thodia members and Gun Tension start Kellerni Atate Wada Dasa. Opposition on eggs of Jabatele. I am Pilot Sangla United. United, the eggs that lay question mark. Question mark, Tasas Uradni, it will be very difficult for the opposition to grab the Prime Minister post, means to grab the rule. But as an opposition, the narrative change Kela Tete Saki Hindutva, 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 Mutlani, at the BJP last at the Karnataka election, the Hindutva, the Injani, Anumana Samudda Kalapai, Anumana Samudda Kala, think a minus Gele. They will change their strategy. No, they, they have nothing else. Oh, they have nothing they else to show. No, no, no. Hindutva. Hindutva. They have failed on every count. Ram Mandir. The last straw that they are clinging to. No, no, but they changed. They have nothing else. No, no. Last election was not. It is. Development was on. Because they believe. 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 They even Nayal and Tensor question sort out Kelo. That is also a decision in favor of the Ram Bhakta. As far as Hindutva is concerned, Hindutva is a majority party workers are Hindu. So, thank you to Muddha Ghyotsat Patala as along with that, Vikas Acha Muddha. Vikas Acha Muddha means strong leader means that Modi in 370 article Jammu and Kashmir and withdraw Kelo. That is a very effect. 
बरेच वाढल्या आणि एकंदरीत पीस सुद्धा ते अटॅक मिलिटंट अटॅक बी रेड्यूस झाल्या यू कॅन गेट फिगर्स फ्रॉम युअर पण जे मुद्दे असा ते स्टडी करतले खं वीक असा खं आता आणि पहिलीच सांगला त्याप्रमाणे लोकसभा आणि विधानसभा इलेक्शन हेतून डिफरन्स असा तुमका आता फॉर एक्झाम्पल डेल्लीच घ्या तुम्ही आप इज रुलिंग रुलिंग पण लोकसभेत त्यांचे सीट येतात कोणाचे बीजेपीचे दिस मीन्स दे चेंज देअर स्ट्रॅटेजी अकॉर्डिंगली आणि त्यांचे ग्रासरूट लेवल त्यांचे द वे ऑफ फंक्शनिंग इज क्वाईट डिफरंट फ्रॉम द ओपोजिशन द क्वेश्चन अरायजीस सपोज ओपोजिशन एक झाले आणि युनायटेडली सारखे घेऊन गेले आता ट्रॉझन बाबाक सांगले काँग्रेस खं वीक असा थंय आम्ही कॅन्डिडेट दितले थंय काँग्रेसीक मान्य करचे पडटले की दे आर नॉट गोईंग टू फायट तसे शक्य झालेच नाही तरच बीजेपी डिफीट करपा पॉसिबल जातले अदरवाइज इट विल बी व्हेरी डिफिकल्ट अँड मोदी आता सध्या नाईन इयर्स कम्प्लीट केल्या इज म्हाका दिसता तो थर्ड प्रायम मिनिस्टर टू रूल इन नंबर ऑफ इयर्स इट लाज जवाहरलाल नेहरू सेव्हन्टीन इयर्स अँड सिक्स्टीन इयर्स इंदिरा गांधी नेक्स्ट आता सपोज ही गॉट थर्ड ऑपॉर्च्युनिटी हॅट्रिक केली नाही हॅट्रिक केली जाल्यार हे विल बी ही विल ब्रेक द रेकॉर्ड ऑफ द इंदिरा गांधी नियर टू नियर टू ही डी नॉट आन्सर माय क्वेश्चन वॉट आय एम सेंग इज व्हेरी क्लिअरली फोर्टीन अँड नाईन्टीन वर डेव्हलपमेंट नॅशनल सिक्युरिटी दिस टाइम इट लुक्स एज इफ द बीजेपी हॅज मूव्ड बॅक टू you know they say sanskruti culture hindu no, rashtra no, no. ah, yeah yeah wait i'll give you a chance i'll give you a chance no the strategy, strategy has flow. changed strategy has changed you feel that this will succeed for them will it succeed or is it going to be a detriment because see hardcore i don't know Maybe. how you look at i look at it 15 to 20% very hardcore hindu voters hindus are divided by caste not so much the other religions hindus are divided by caste हार्डकोर हिंदू दॅट विच विच द व्हिच एच व्ही एच पी एच जे एस बजरंग दल यु नो कॅन ब्रिंग इन लव्ह जिहाद यु नो ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट बॅलन्स पीपल फिफ्टीन पर्सेंट वेव सपोर्टिंग द बी जे पी आर दे आर लुकिंग फॉर डेव्हलपमेंट सो यू थिंक द बी जे पी वील मॅनेज टू थिंक ऑर इज इट द करेक्ट स्ट्रॅटेजी वॉट एव्हर यू आर फ्री टू सी नो नो सी अजूनपर्यंत बी जे पीचे वॉट विल बी देअर स्टार कॅम्पेनिंग पॉईंट नो स्टार कॅम्पेनिंग पॉईंट्स ते विजन डॉक्युमेंट बी काढटले पण त्यांना तुका कळटले की ते वॉट दे वॉन्ट टू फोकस ऑन बट आय सी बी जे पी मायनस हिंदुत्व इज नो बी जे पी एट ऑल सो इफ यू फील दॅट मायनस हिंदुत्व दे विल कम इन पॉलिटिक्स दॅट इज नॉट गोईंग टू हॅपन दॅट शुड नॉट ऑल्सो हॅपन इट इज नॉट फॉर गुड फॉर बी जे पीज ओन प्रॉस्पेक्ट सो डेव्हलपमेंट अँड अदर थिंग सोशल सिक्युरिटी प्राईस राईज एम्प्लॉयमेंट how do they tackle is something which will have to be seen but to say that bjp will never going to talk or no 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 the, the that's the that's the edge that, of the spear see, in those edge areas, edge, edge, edge edge of the spear is it can't be see uh, see bj politics or elections are not uh, won or lost on single agenda okay. bjp has to be there i'm sorry the hindutva has to be there it can't be there can't be bjp without hindutva but along with that see if they if you go along with hindu only with hindutva like how you went to uh, karnataka. karnataka you see the result so you will have to That's also talk about you know you will have to also talk about development you will have to also talk about um, um, peace it will have to also talk about employment law and, order, law and order all these things you will have to talk about and you will have to pinpoint where exactly what exactly is your contribution to to whatever uh, that you see on the table so that that has to be there but one interesting thing that i i i i realized I, and and i noticed as far as trajan bap is concerned see when he said uh, kashmir uh, lot of development has happened mm. he says no that is your point of view but when he says people are not happy this he speaks as if it's from gospel or something no <laughs> that is also your point of view the allegations that you have made against bjp is your point of view so if somebody is not supposed to is entitled to present his counter point of view Absolutely. so this see in 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 politics these things don't happen that whatever i sh- i am saying should be taken as a gospel because ultimately if you see bjp has better this performer 
so acceptability of bjp from 2014 to 2019 has increased and that last time the priority of the acceptance rate of bjp t was 37 percent today it is 39 percent not a good not a good sign for opposition whoever are modi haters there it's not good for them so that's what i'm saying he rejects data whatever is against them whatever is against the opposition unity he says it's myth it is not required all these things will not add up see you if you have it is better that you realize what is your strength and weaknesses you you you, you uh, better your strength you work on your weaknesses that's how you give a better performance and shattered uh, opposition that we see today where they are not seeing eye to eye, eye, to, eye, eye to each other and other leaders where they have personal ambition they want to see that other person should not grow in uh, uh, they want to cut uh, cut size every other uh, uh, leader of the uh, party in the same group now these things are not going to take yes. opposition in the long way you set your house in order first Okay. Dr. Bab, wait, 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 now, wait, 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 I'll give you a chance. We are like uh, <laughs> almost out of time in the second yeah. <laughs> This also, so, Trayan Bab, you talk, then I want to bring Viraji, oh, Shiddha, but just uh, keep it two, two minutes. Yeah, Dr. Shiddha, Dr. Shiddha, we are out of time. Yeah, when almost. he says it is my point of view. Yeah, I it is your point of view. I mean, this is point of Correct. Okay. I am not giving you data, I am giving you facts that are happening today. Now he said, <laughs> let me talk now. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So so I, I never discussed that. Prime, Prime Minister Modi has become a world leader. Listen, then he says in Karnataka, that same same popular leader goes there along with this number one, number two, has a campaign. You have a government there sitting down. You have a central government. What did you speak about your development? Why did you not speak about whatever you did there? Why you spoke about hate, hate speech? Why did you speak communalism there? Because you had nothing else. And therefore you got lost. So that is going to happen to you in, in, in other places. Well, I have answered my question. Yeah. But anyway. Are you getting what I am trying to say? Yes. So that is the point of view. Yeah. I am telling you what has happened. I am not with like your data. Fair enough. Fair enough. Enough. The library put it over. I am telling you, answer me. Answer me in Karnataka, both the top leaders were there. Your national world leader was there, government was there, central government was there, and they were wiped. Who? Okay. Is it, is, is it my point of view? It is the people's world. One second, one second. It is the people of Karnataka showed you. Yeah, Rabab. Then how do you. Yeah, see, uh, actually, we said. Yeah, I also said that it is his view, this view. But now, one important view, which actually I just, with your permission, I just wanted to show the cover of this book. So if you see this book, this is written by Parakala Prabhakar. Okay. I, I, if some bell rings, hmm. maybe it's okay. The crooked timber of New India. Okay. <laughs> Who is this guy? Husband of Finance Minister yeah. Nirmala yeah. Sitharaman. Yeah. In this book, he has actually criticized <laughs> every <laughs> policy <laughs> of. Yeah. I only request people only even to read only introduction <laughs> of this book, and he will give how Modi is incompetent. He Most is incompetent, Prime Minister. Yes, sir. He is incompetent and problem is not, he is not worried about it. He is worried about the damage to the republic nature of our India. Our secular, plural, liberal view of India is getting damaged. And it is not because of BJP or Modi alone. He is also talking about the fascist organization which is behind it. So he is saying unless opposition and people realize it and study it, Nothing will happen. I agree with you. So on this yeah. point, Ramra Bab, I totally agree. Viraj, you have 30 seconds. Tell me one thing. Is the campaign like it happened in Karnataka going to benefit the BJP or there has to be some course correction? Because it looks like the strategy is from what has happened is that since we are also seeing uh, statues of uh, uh, statues in, in Goa, <laughs> which <laughs> never saw statue all politics. agitations. Statue yeah, so politics. that means if in a place like Goa, they can it can actually happen, it's going to happen all over. This is something that I can say. If it's going <laughs> to happen in Goa, it's going to happen all over. You think it will help or will some course correction happen? Or, or uh, of course, they will cross 303 seats like Dutor is saying. See, as an analyst, I'm not asking you as a politician <laughs> because you're not. Nataka, you have to understand that it was assembly election. So, the charisma... Leaving it out as assembly. Yeah. So, what the fight there there is more uh, importance given to local leaders. So, Modi versus the local leadership, of course, the local leadership of the Congress. So, what is the question of calling him a world leader? He did not a world leader. Ah, Itrajan, he did interrupt you. <laughs> okay, so, uh, 
when it comes to Lok Sabha, you have to understand that the narrative changes. So it is people look at the prime minister and the opposition candidate if there is one. Now Rajan Bab made a very valid point. There is no opposition leader who can counter Modi single-handedly. So their strategy of going with individual leaders in each state where they are strong it makes perfect sense. And that's the best uh, strategy good. possible. I also agree. Yes. But when it comes to Lok Sabha, we've seen with past data that that has not happened. This time, will it change? It can definitely change. Uh, <coughs> there has been uh, <coughs> then there is some sort of anti-incumbency because BJP has been in power for uh, almost ten years. At the same time, I would like to also state that opposition has not come up to that level. It's been ten years. Nineteen, it did not happen, and I don't see. I don't see them perform uh, that well in the last uh, four years. So th they still have one year to capitalize and mobilize and do it. Possible, definitely, but looks difficult currently. Okay. Anyway, uh, like uh, I, I've heard you all. I want to before it gets into another <laughs> episode. <laughs> I want to end it here. We are out of time. <laughs> yeah. So my, I have only one thing to say. Opposition unity. I have said this earlier also. Opposition unity is a myth. It's not going to happen. Maximum, if the opposition has some sense, and I totally agree with uh, Ram Rao, if we need an opposition, we need a government, we need an opposition, strong one also. In that case, there has to be tactical and strategic planning on a state-wise level. Because state leaders are very powerful. His own uh, party leader, Mamta, is, is a brilliant politician. Very good organization. DMK, Stalin is there. Up in Delhi, in Punjab. Brilliant politicians. They have to manage, manage to get the this of the people and translate their uh, assembly uh, popularity into Lok Sabha. By almost 50% of India is ruled by the opposition. If they cannot get 50% seats, then something wrong with them. Hopefully, as time goes by, by uh, as we have more discussion, little more clarity will come on the narrative. We know what the BJP narrative as of today may change. What the narrative of the opposition going into the elections is. Because that is the most important thing. It's not only giving speeches, not only organization, because the party leaders have organization in their individual states. What they need is a narrative to go into elections. Ram Rao Bab's narrative is brilliant. This is something that the opposition as a whole should bring up. But thanks, Rajan Bab. Thanks, Ram Rao Bab. Thanks, Viraj. Thanks, Samesh. Thanks, Thank you. And keep watching Goa 365. Thank <laughs> you.